be sure the entire chain is straight, all flat and facing upwards. By this one simple step, with the left side only, turn it halfway toward your body, and with the, with the chain hook, you're going to join it while it's twisted, and throughout the entire hat, the hat will be twisted. So pull the yarn through, slip stitch one, pull the yarn through, chain one, and now we're going to work into the back side of the chain. We're going to single crochet one in each chain. And I forgot to mention we're using a size K hook, size ten and a half. And be sure and maneuver the yarn where the back straight is present. And now that we're in the middle of the row, we can tell this because the tail is facing toward us. Okay, now see, we're already halfway through the row. The tail is facing toward me. And notice that the bottom, when you crocheted only in the top of the chain, well now this is why. The bottom now becomes the top and we're going to single crochet one in that chain. Okay, and now we're at the end of the chain. And the tail is on the opposite side, and you can tell the single crochets are back. And notice both sides. There's going to be a single crochet on the top and on the bottom too, single crochet. So therefore, this, the work is going to move this way, it appears. So now we're on the first row. You're going to single crochet one in the back loop only. And you're going to work the single front, the front post's extended single crochet. Here's your post. Chain one then pull it through. The extended is the same thing as single crochet, but you're going to chain one before you pull the loops through the final two loops. Now whatever you do at the top, the same thing is going to happen on the bottom. Now well, this will be chain row one. I'm going to continue to work on this row and I'll meet you when I finish. I finished my first row and now I'm ready for the increase. To do this, I'm going to do the same thing 
but chain one added to that. Front post extended single crochet one, chain one. And I'm going to do this for the rest of the row. And I'll meet you when I finish. I'm on my last stitch before I increase, before I go into the new row. My last stitch. Okay, now I'm on my increase row. And I know this because of the extra, of the extra chain where I chained from the previous row. Here's my front post. And notice this little extra singular strand. And I got that from my increase. Now I'm going to single extended crochet stitch in this one and this is going to help my increase. And notice that it forms a Y shape. The stitch is narrow from the previous row and it's getting wider. It looks like a lowercase y. That's going to help my increase. I'm going to keep doing this throughout the rest of the row and I'll meet you when I finish. I completed my three rows. I know this because I look at the back one, two, three. And it's easy for me to tell. Now notice also Remember earlier I mentioned whatever I do here happens here? Now later the hat will close like this. And whenever I work, I'm always going to pull the work out of this little hole. So out of this, now I'm going to do my back post extended single crochet. Now into the Y. I'm going to go like this. Okay. Now notice with the crochet hook, I'm coming from the back to the front, back around and back to the back. And now the post, I'm going to do it around the back. Now these back posts, I'm just going to work it all three rows as plain back post. I'm not going to increase nor decrease because I find it easier to do that in the front post. Now noticing what was in the back side, I'm now doing, it's now turning out on the front side. Now I'm going to continue and do these three rows and I'll meet you when I finish. Don't forget to pull the work through as you go along. I finish my three rows of the back post single extended crochet stitch. And the same things on this side. Like I said, whatever I did on this side, the same thing happens on this side. And when I get to, eventually, when the hat gets bigger, that's when you eventually close the hat. And when you do join, You join them like this.
but you'll notice that the hat starts to take shape. But anyway, you're going to rotate between your front post and back post single extended crochet stitch. So this is the back post and then you just rotate to the front post and back post and whatever the pattern tells you and you'll need to purchase the pattern. It's the Virginia Steampunk hat. And it only looks hard but once you understand it this video was intended to help you not get intimidated just to give you a head start on it. So. I'll let you go ahead and finish it, and thank you for watching.